Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. Let's get started. Hi guys, I'm overseeing today. Got some brown in the backyard. Grass has been stressing lately. Had some high temps. Pay extra special attention to this area. Been meaning to do it for a while. I'll start by cutting the grass real low. I usually have it set on the highest setting, but now it's on three. Had to change it, it was so low. So I put it on four. The reason why you want to cut it low is so that the uh, seeds can make contact with the soil. All right, that's done. Time to trim. You all know I love my works 20 volt trimmer edger. Can't beat it. I got it done. Now it's time to rake up some of the dead grass. I'll start over there, then work my way across. I'll use the 14 time rake because it helps create a bed for the seeds to lay in. I got a pile going already. You know, this weather isn't ideal to oversee, but the Scott Sun and Shade Mix can handle it. And it's under 80 degrees today, so I think everything will be okay. I don't even know why I'm showing this. I got it all set up though. Here, there, there, there. Should be, yep, nine, eight, nine. Oh yeah. Got rid of that dead stuff. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's say you don't have any topsoil, like in my case. I know I used a couple rakes earlier, but a garden weasel is ideal for loosening up the soil. Look what it's doing. Great job. Don't forget about this part over here, guys. Remember this three weeks from now. I think we're ready to put down some seeds. You can always use your hands if you don't have a broadcast spreader or a hand spreader. This is fine too. I might lay it real heavy in this area and throughout the yard. It's very important that you spread the seeds as much as possible. You don't want them bunched up together. They'll be competing for space, nutrients, and you just don't want them to die out on you, okay? In this area, especially something like this, pay close attention to it. Space them out, be as thorough as you can. Nothing wrong with using your hands in a narrow part of your yard. Actually, it might be the best way for beginners. Can't go wrong. You want it to look something like this when you're finishing up. So let's move right along. As I stated before, a more traditional rake helps spread the seed and creates a bed for them to lay in. It's very crucial that they make contact with the soil. And of course, some of the seeds are going to need a little more help getting down to the soil. For new seeds, you start a fertilizer, gives them a boost. You can do it by hand as well. Spread it evenly though. Believe it or not, some people step on their seeds just to ensure they make contact with the soil. You can do it if you like, but don't do this once you wet the seed or you can damage them. I had this peat moss since last year and look how fresh it looks. You can use it to cover the seeds, keeps them moist, and it keeps the birds away too. It's a heavy bag, so you might want to cut it open, flip it over, and just spread it like this. Makes it a little easier. That's done. We're getting there. Just a bit more to go. In my opinion, the back of a 14 time rake helps spread peat moss better than a more traditional one does. Finally, time for the last step. We're going to come back in three weeks and take a look at the progress. 
my advice, water twice a day for two weeks, once a day during the third week. You might have to do it more based on the weather. Anyway, you know the motto, take care of your families, take care of your bodies, take care of your lawns too. Bye.